Topical anesthesia is more effective than retrobulbar anesthesia during vitrectomy. Floaters is a medical condition which can negatively affect the vision and quality of life of a person. The 27-gauge pass planar vitrectomy was found to be the most effective and safe surgery for vitreous floaters. But, retrobulbar, as well as peribulbar anesthesia used during vitrectomy surgery can result in some complications. Previous studies have shown that topical anesthesia, combined with sedatives reduced the pain and discomfort during the vitrectomy surgery. However, no study has been done to compare the effect of topical and retrobulbar anesthesia for 27-gauge pass planar vitrectomy for symptomatic vitreous floaters. The aim of the study was to compare the efficacy of retrobulbar and topical anesthesia in 27-gauge vitrectomy for vitreous floaters. Patient aged above 18 years who had moderate or severe effect of floaters on vision for more than three months, and who had vitreous opacity crumb upon examination were included in the study. Individuals who previously underwent a vitrectomy surgery had penetrating ocular trauma before, and individuals with conditions like mental retardation, problem with communication, dementia or other systemic diseases were excluded from the study. The randomized control trial included about 30 patients, they were equally randomized into two groups based on the anesthesia given. The group receiving topical anesthesia was considered as group D. And, the group receiving retrobulbar anesthesia was the group R. Ophthalmic examinations, including a slit lamp evaluation, best corrected visual acuity, intraocular pressure, B scan, optical coherent tomography, and fundus photography, were performed in patients preoperatively, and one day and one week after surgery. The primary outcome was measured using 5-point visual analog pain scale. The visual analog pain scale score was high for group R during the anesthesia procedure, and after one day of surgery, whereas, for group D the score was high during the surgery and after two hours of the surgery. The study results suggested that the topical anesthesia is more safe and effective than retrobulbar anesthesia for 27-gauge pass planar vitrectomy for vitreous floaters.